So I am here today to do my September TBR and I'm going to be doing two different parts to my September TBR because the underhyped readathon is happening in September and this is being run by Charlotte whose channel is Ramblings of an Elf Pyre. I will link her down below and in the cards so go and check her out. I've met up with her a couple of times now and we're actually really good friends and we have similar tastes so I definitely would check out her channel every few months. Um, I think it's maybe twice a year something like that. She hosts the Underhyped Readathon and this is a great readathon where you basically just read books that don't have very many ratings on Goodreads, don't have very many reviews, don't have much hype surrounding them and I just think it's a great way to open up your eyes to people that you maybe haven't heard of, it's a great way for me to explore some authors that I've never heard of from other people's channels and seeing what they choose. So I decided I would combine this with a theme that I kind of had running anyway for September which is self-published slash small press September because I have quite a few books from self-published authors at the moment who have contacted me and given them to me for review and I also have a couple of smaller presses who have sent me some of their books to review that I would really like to get to kind of soon and I just haven't had the time so I'm going to dedicate September to doing that and I really really want to give it a good go and it fits really well with the Underhyped Readathon because as they are self-published so few of them have a huge amount of ratings so I think it's going to be a good combination of everything. So I'm going to run you guys through all of the books that I'm going to be reading this month and then I do have some books that don't fit into the underhyped readathon or into the self-published and small press September but I just want to get to them this month too so I'll show you guys what they are. Let's get started. The first book I have is Catalyst Moon which is by Lauren L. Garcia. I had never heard of this before but it was sent to me by Inkit. I will link them below if I can find them and they contacted me and said would I like to review this. Dive into the fantastic world of Aredia with this award-winning, oh it's award-winning, fantasy adventure. Kali, a crippled mage, travels to Whitewater City to meet with a powerful healer. When her sentinel escort is decimated by monstrous bandits, she is left in the company of a single sentinel. Stonewall, a man with nothing left but his chosen name and his faith in the gods. Together they must survive demonic creatures, bloodthirsty nomads and a strange magic never seen before. But with every strife comes a discovery of new landscapes within each other's hearts definitely sounds interesting. I hope that the romance element, because I kind of think that's what they're hinting at, doesn't overtake the book. We'll have to see. The next one I have, more people will probably have heard of, because I mentioned this one last month. I wanted to get to it then, but I didn't get a chance, so I've rolled it over into this one because it is self-published. This is Zane Holloway, Assassin for Hire by P.T. Hilton. This is the Omnibus, and he publishes it himself. And I have to say, this is one of the best put together self-published books. I love P.T. Hilton, we're really good friends, but it's not just because of that that I'm going to read his book. He actually can write and that's fantastic and he can write really well and he does sword and sorcery excellently and the first few stories in this were great. I haven't read the last few but I'm really really excited to do so. Hopefully I'll get to that this month. It is a super quick read so I just need to knuckle down and do it because I think it's going to be awesome. The next one I have is another one I mentioned last month but I didn't quite get to and that is Touch of Iron which is by Timamandra Whitecastle. She sent this one to me herself and it does sound like my sort of thing. The cover is fantastic. It says, is the living blade real or just a legend? With it, Prince Bashan could win back his kingdom. And there's a couple of other characters involved too, so I'm guessing it's maybe multiple POV. It sounds pretty cool. I'm hopeful that I'll like it and that the cover matches the content. The next one I have is a kind of mix up of a zine and a graphic novel and a story. It's called Strange Wise Tales and Curiosities. And this one was sent to me by the author and I'm very intrigued by it. It's super short. It's got lots of different stuff going on with the format. I'm not sure if it's going to be my sort of thing or not, but I am intrigued and I'm looking forward to giving it a go. The next one I have is from a small press. This one is Elsewhen Press and this is a press who I found when I went to Nine Worlds, so you'll probably have seen this in my Nine Worlds haul. It is called Bookworm and it's by Christopher Nuttall. 
and apparently this is one of their best-selling books from that little small press so I'm very intrigued about it. It kind of has a Brent Weeks kind of vibe so I'm interested if it will go that way. It's about a young girl who discovers something terrible and mysterious in a book. She discovers all of the great ancient secrets of the secret library so very intrigued about this. We all know how much I like books and libraries so I can't wait to check this out. The next one I have is called Dead and Buried and this is book one of the Out of Orbit series and this is by Chele Cook or Shelley Cook and I met her at Nine Worlds. She was selling her book and a couple of other independent authors and her one sounded the most interesting to me so I picked it up in the hopes of really enjoying it. It's about a world which has been invaded and how people are dealing with this invasion by the Adveni who sound like a mysterious kind of alien-ish race. We'll have to see um, what they turn out to be like but apparently it's going to be a pretty interesting ride so I can't wait for that. The next one I have is Asteroid Made of Dragons by G. Derek Adams. I had this in a TBR quite a while ago but I didn't get to it so I'm going to give it another go and try and get to it this month. This one sounds like it's quite cynical and quite funny and satirical. Apparently it's quite a humorous one and kind of in the same vein as Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy which I definitely enjoy so I'm hopeful that I'll enjoy this one too. It's got a really cool striking cover and it's published by Sword and Laser who were a YouTube team who have now gone on to publish some books as well under their own name so that's pretty cool. Next I have two books that I got a while ago. This one is Strange Tales from the Scriptorian Vault, a collection of steampunk stories and it's edited by Sammy H.K. Smith. This one is published by a small press called Crystal Inc and I actually found this small press when I went to FantasyCon last year which is quite a while ago now and I picked up this book there and I haven't got to it yet so now is a perfect excuse to pick this one up and dive into it. Plus I've not read any steampunk short stories before but I'm hopeful that they'll be really really fun because I do love steampunk and I think it will be quite an easy one to get your teeth into in short story form. Spark and Carousel, this one is apparently a signed copy, <laughs> not that I realise that. It's by Joanne Hill and again this is published by Kristen Inc and again it's one that I found whilst I was at FantasyCon. It says Spark is a wanted man on the run after causing the death of his mentor and wild with untamed magic he arrives in Cape Coray where his latent talents make him a target of rival gangs. Carousel, a wire walker and a thief takes him under her wing to guide him through the intrigues of the criminal underworld. But when Spark's magic cracks the world and releases demons from the hells beneath, two mages of his former order make it their mission to prevent his magic from spiralling out of control. Sounds pretty cool, definitely intriguing, can't wait to dive into it. This one feels really nice as well, like this press is really really good quality super soft paper and really dense heavy book but I like that. So that is pretty much it for the small press self-published short fiction but I do have a couple of other books that I am hoping to get to in the month of September. The first of them is a huge one and that is this. It is Dust of Dreams by Stephen Erickson. It's book number nine in the Malazan Book of the Fallen. I have finally gone back to the series. I've had a couple of you kind of telling me that I need to go back to it and saying that I really really should just read the last two and you're right I do just need to read the last two so why not. I picked up this and I have the audiobook and I've been listening to it on my commute to and from work so I have been enjoying it. I don't love this one as much as the previous ones I have to say. Um, it's very slow going. There are some interesting moments but at the moment it's not gripping me as much so we'll see how it goes because I am only about a third of the way into this. It is huge, it's almost 1,300 pages which is ridiculously long but I'm making my way steadily through it so hopefully I will finish this up in September. I think I will because the audiobook really really helps with these books for me. Fingers crossed I can finish this one up and go on to book 10 in October and maybe get the series done before the end of the year. That would be really, really good. The next one I have is one that I actually received really recently and I'm so excited about. It is Of Sand and Malice Made and it's by Bradley Bolio. It's published by Galanx and they kindly sent this one to me. And I'm super, super excited to give this one a go. It is really, really beautifully published. I think you'll all agree. It kind of reminds me a little bit of... Um, the way that The Slow Regard of Silent Things is published and it's just really really cute. It's quite a small hardback, it's like the same sort of size as a normal paperback but it's really really lovely so I'm definitely happy to have this. As you guys know I really enjoy Bradley Berlioz's stuff and I particularly loved Twelve Kings by him which is the same character as is in this. 
This one is, I believe, a few short stories about Jada, who is our main character from the Twelve Kings series. It's quite short. I think it's only around 220 pages, but I think it's going to be a fun one, so I can't wait for that. The next one I have is After Atlas by Emma Newman, and this one was given to me by Emma Newman herself at Nine Worlds when Elizabeth and I were there. We had a great time and we met her, and she offered us her book, which I'm so, so, so excited about. I have actually read the first chapter of this. I read it at Nine Worlds and it was fabulous, so I can't wait to read the rest of it. It seems like it's going to be a really approachable, fun science fiction, which is great, and I'm hoping that I'll really, really like it, and then I can go and buy her other book too, so fingers crossed that happens. I'll keep you guys updated. I'll certainly be trying to read this super soon because A, it's beautiful and lovely and B, it seems like it's going to be a book that I will really enjoy. And the final two are Traitor's Blade by Sebastian de Castell. I'm going to be reading this one with Eleanor from Eleanor Reads Books because you guys might remember if you watched Eleanor's channel as well that Eleanor and I filmed a video a while back asking you to vote on one of the books that we should read and Eleanor's book Traitor's Blade 1, which I am not unhappy about because I actually met Sebastian de Castell when I was at Nine Worlds and he was super nice, so I'm very intrigued about his actual book. Hopefully I'll really, really like it. I've heard great things from others about it. And speaking of Eleanor, Eleanor runs the Book Buddy Box and the choice for the first Book Buddy Box, the September one, was The One in a Million Boy, which is by Monica Wood and have never heard of this book. I have no idea if it's going to be something I'll enjoy or not because I don't read much contemporary and I think this is probably classed as a contemporary but it does sound interesting. It's got all of Eleanor's added bonus things within it. That's what the book buddy box is. She gives you like little tidbits to discover as you read the book. So I'm hoping to have a really great reading experience even if the book isn't quite to my taste. And I think that's everything that I'm going to be reading. Um, I might dip into some other stuff. I might not. I might manage none of this or all of this. I probably will have some audiobooks on the go as well, although I don't know what they will be yet. But I'm definitely going to try and marathon through quite a few of these. I'm really excited about a lot of them, particularly the self-published ones. If you are doing the under-hype readathon, let me know down in the comments. I would love to see your TBRs so you can link them to me or tweet them at me. Thank you all so much for watching. Have a great September. It's my birthday month and I will see you in my next one. Bye! Thank you for watching my video today. Go pick up a book and come back and chat with me again.